Hello guys, welcome to Bitsoft Tutorials. In this video, I'll be showing you what is UPI and how you can make a transaction using UPI. Well, UPI, that is Unified Payment Interface, is a payment service recently introduced by the National Payments Corporation of India through its official Android application called Beam. Beam stands for Bharat Interface for Money. Now, when you sign up uh, on this application with your mobile number, you will need to set a passcode which will be required every time you access it, this application. As you can see, I have set Access Bank as the primary account as of now. You can change your bank account using this menu. You will find all your bank account details here you, that you have set a six digit pin. Now this uh, this is this depends on the bank that uh, you are using like uh, every bank have their own preference of a UPI pin some banks will have a four digit pin well some have a six digit pin you can reset or change your UPI pin right from this window you can also request balance just by entering the M pin so here I'll enter the M pin and I'll show you how quickly it is to fetch balance so here it is and you can also switch between bank accounts quickly so here's a list of all the bank that are providing the UPI service well you may find few banks which are not listed here yet since they are yet to introduce the UPI service and will soon introduce it so let me quickly switch to uh, another bank account so now Beam app will um, look for bank account in Bank of Baroda with the mobile number that I've used while sign up. So it has fetched one account. I clicked and now the primary account is changed. So three basic things that you can do using a Beam app is you can send money, you can request money, or you can scan and pay at uh, any particular store. Now here is a list of all the transactions. This is a pending request transaction. This is a payment transaction success. Receipt transaction success. I'll show you one failed transaction how it looks. So this is a failure transaction payment. And this is a profile where you can check your virtual payment address. So by default, Bmap will generate a virtual payment address for you ending with at the rate UPI. Now for different bank, uh, banks will have their own uh, pattern of a UPI which will end which will be ending with their own bank name like Access Bank has an UPI ending with at the rate Access Bank SBI has their own virtual payment address ending with at the rate SBI well you can share this QR code or download this and share later to anyone from whom you want to receive money now let's quickly make a payment and I'll show you how it how easy it is to make a payment let's select uh, this particular person having an SPI UPI let's enter the amount you can also set remarks and click on pay now it is asking me to enter the UPI pin of Bank of Baroda account You can see how quick it was to make a successful payment so let's go back to home and now let's request same amount of money to the one to the person who, whom we have just sent 10 rupees let's get that money back you can also set the validity date here so by this date this person can send me money back Let's set a remark. Let's click on request. So this has generated a request to this SBI virtual payment address. Now let me quickly open the SBI pay application and log in. So there must be one payment request 
which I'll need to approve in order to make the payment successful. So as you can see, I've received one request which I'll need to make payment. I'll select the request, then I'll click on approve. Then it is asking me for M pin. Just enter the M pin here. Then I'll click on submit. So as you can see, I've successfully made, accepted the request and I've made the payment. Now let's go back to the Beam application. Here in the transaction history, you'll find that I have received a request that I had, that I received the request payment from this particular account. So, by this way you can send and receive money you can also scan and pay and one more thing that you the beam app is provides is that you can generate a qr code here suppose you have to receive payment from multiple people the same amount of payment you can simply click on generate qr code enter the amount and enter the remarks then click on generate qr code now this will generate a quick, quick QR code which you can share with all your uh, all your parties or all your people who want to make a payment to you. So they will just need to scan this. Uh, they won't be required to enter the amount or virtual payment address or anything else like IFSC code or anything else. So, so it becomes so simple for them to make payment. Just scan and make the payment without even entering the uh, amount or even the virtual payment address. So this is how it has simplified the payment uh, method. Next you can also set your language, you can also change the SIM in case you have uh, in case your uh, registered mobile number is on different SIM slot you can change it from here and regular SMS charges will be applied for verification so that's it if you have any other doubts relating UPI payment or anything else you can just post down your comments in this video and if you like this video please like and share this video uh, and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you